Hey everyone, welcome to the Wise Business Podcast. I'm your host, Carmen Mastro Piero, and today I'm joined by four special guests, Dan Bordenave, Nicole Smith, and Kayleen Jackson from Spark Niagara, along with Andrea Wick from Niagara Women's Enterprise Center. They enable entrepreneurs to grow their businesses through collaborative workspaces and mentorship programs. And a cool fact, I actually run my copywriting and marketing agency outside of Spark. Highly recommend that all entrepreneurs recommend or invest into some kind of co-working space or center like that. So let's just begin by welcoming our guests, beginning with you, Dan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, everybody. My name is, uh, as Carmine mentioned, Dan Bordev. I'm the acting CEO for Spark Niagara. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this, but uh, one of the current things we're working on is uh, reopening uh, in Red Zone in Niagara and what that entails. Um, so we're happy that we finally get to open up a little bit more than we were before. Uh, but it's a big undertaking to ensure you're following all the proper practices and protocols that the government set out. Definitely, for sure. And next, Nicole, just tell us a bit more about yourself and what you do for Spark. Uh, sure. Uh, so I'm the event and communications coordinator for Spark Niagara. And uh, so essentially, I handle all the events and a lot of the communication pieces that go in and through, uh, through Spark. Nice. And Kayleen? And that's about it. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Kayleen. I'm a project coordinator at Spark and I work on a lot of various different exciting projects, a lot of community oriented projects, and uh, I am the project lead on this initiative that we're going to talk about today. Awesome. And last but not least, Andrea, welcome to the show. Thank you, Carmen. Um, my name is Andrea and I'm currently working with the amazing uh, women at Niagara Women's Enterprise Center. Um, for those of you who don't know, Niagara Women's Enterprise Center is a charity of the Niagara Peninsula Homes not-for-profit organization. And we'll be talking a little bit more about how we're partnering with Spark Niagara to create some really um, supportive and innovative programming for women entrepreneurs. For sure. And just to jump things off, Dan, can you tell us exactly what Spark Niagara is? Yeah, perfect. Uh, so Spark Niagara was uh, something that was founded on the ability to create jobs and entrepreneurs in the Niagara region. So uh, maybe Carmine, you're too young to remember, but right. I'm sure myself, Andrea, and Nicole remember that the Niagara region is quite uh, an industrial area. And it, it still is. There's still a lot of industry here. But uh, like anything goes, industry left to other countries, other parts of US, Canada, Mexico, and uh, overseas. So what happened is we were left with kind of a void. We have this amazing region, lots of potential, but we don't have many jobs available. And then, uh, in fact, uh, it became a seniors haven after where a lot of seniors are, are moving down here, right? Yes. So, I mean, the, the environment is nice. It's a beautiful place to live. So what happens, you have this board, you have over you have 10,000, if not more, individuals from Niagara commuting to Hamilton, Toronto every single day for work, uh, just because there's better paying jobs there, higher high tech jobs there, and jobs that people want. In fact, even uh, just in Brock University, the majority of students come to Brock University and then go work outside of the region. For sure. So the reason Spark was founded was basically foster innovation entrepreneurship to create the jobs of tomorrow. And our job is to provide the resources, tools, coaching, mentorship, everything needed in order to help these entrepreneurs grow their business from the ground up or to attract entrepreneurs from across Canada, US to move their operations to Canada. And our goal is, is by doing this within five to 10 years, we'd be able to create a huge amount of jobs, high paying jobs so that individuals can grow their families, live a great lifestyle in Niagara and have a well-paying job. And that's kind of how Spark was, uh, was founded. So we do a lot of uh, events and, and uh, different projects that Nicole will explain to you a little bit more. Uh, but our goal is, is just to help the, the Niagara ecosystem, the Niagara economy by creating jobs uh, and good paying jobs uh, for our children grandchildren and everybody else in the future. I love it. And yeah, Nicole, what are some of the main services you can get at Spark Niagara right now? Uh, well, you, one of the main services, of course, is the fact we provide an, an, an amazing workspace. I mean, you walk in there and I mean, you know this yourself, uh, Carmine, you walk in, there's a, a lot of energy. It's very positive. It's open. It's collaborative. Feels great. And, you know, so when when, yeah, and it's it's just it's a great space. So it's a great place to think. And um, what we love is the entrepreneurs speak to each other, sometimes partner together. 
but either way they they support each other and they do this journey thing together and that's a big bonus which makes us more like a, a community in that sense so we celebrate together and and when things aren't going well for one of our entrepreneurs you know we we just you know go alongside them and and you know walk along that path with them encouraging them and helping them and so that's it's very much like that so that's one of the big things that i think sets us apart from other incubator hubs because of that that uniqueness of the the ethos that exists within within spark you know so uh you know the workspaces and, and when i talk about workspaces of course you know you can do private office or you can just be in the main uh area but we also have a virtual membership option because some people you know like to work from home or maybe they they don't even live anywhere near the niagara region but they want to be you know hooked into the niagara region one way or another and this is a great way for them to explore that and so uh, the virtual membership is a great especially in this day and age right now with covid virtual membership is a fantastic way to be a part of who we are without being able to physically be here or having to physically be here so that's that's some of the services and of course depending on the level we're uh, you know we offer things like um you know a website promotion and and uh, I'm, I'm French. I'm sorry. Sometimes some words come out wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, consulting services. Okay. That was not going to come out as consulting. I had to think about it for yeah. a minute. <laughs> but uh, so consulting services uh, from staff and sometimes from from some of our partners outside of of Spark. They they like to also invest in entrepreneurs. Um, you know, we also have things like you know boardrooms, so you can rent a boardroom. We have an event space that can be rented. Um, you know, and those kinds of things is, uh, you know, those are the services that we that we can provide. And of course, lots and lots of coffee. Yes. Coffee. And so important. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> yeah. And Nicole, it's funny you mentioned the languages because we also help French, Spanish, Arabic. We have uh, people on our team that speak different languages that can really help uh, entrepreneurs across the globe. That's For sure. correct. That is correct. Yeah, and I love that you said uh, kind of the dynamic of that makes Spark different because I remember when I first signed up, Dan actually said, welcome to the family. And I love that because it's, it's a good community and a good vibe here for sure. Yeah, totally. And that, that wasn't a, a, a homage to the Italian community that's in there. <laughs> exactly. uh, welcome to the family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and are there any kind of like new things going on with Spark right now? Like any new updates or projects? Uh, there's always new stuff going on at Spark. <laughs> right. <laughs> Obviously. Um, you know, like uh, something that, that's not so new now, but was new for us is when this whole COVID thing started, we started webinars because up until then we did workshops and, and we love, because part of what we love to do is we love to invest in entrepreneurs. And so how do you invest in entrepreneurs? You have to equip them, equip them for success. And so part of that of course is doing workshops. And uh, well, you know, COVID said no. So we changed it and started doing webinars. And so we've been doing webinars for about a year um, which, uh, I mean, you've graciously done a few and, uh, you know, all the webinars we've had are very helpful for anybody who's an entrepreneur. So if you want to check out our YouTube channel, go for it and you'll find all kinds of stuff that, uh, might help you, uh, you know, anything from law to IP to content creation, right, Carmine? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Everything. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till the physical events are going on. I love like the workshops and what was that thing, Dan? It was like wine and cheese Wednesday or something you guys had? Oh, yeah. So those are our uh, once a month we host a wine and cheese event where we bring all of our members uh, together uh, to come and just basically just have open dialogue, open conversation. And uh, again, what going off on Nicole says, just a lot of cross collaboration. Um, I mean, some entrepreneurs, it's crazy. They're in completely different sectors, uh, one in health and one in, in uh, agritech. And just by having conversations, they're able to solve some of each other's problems because they're just taking another perspective that they may have not had before. So that cross collaborate is so important. That's why we do uh, wine and cheese events. And again, uh, only Niagara wines uh, nice. and, and, and Niagara cheeses. <laughs> nice. Of course, of course. But uh, you know, so we, yeah, we're looking forward to doing live events once again, uh, absolutely for sure. Um, some of the, the other things, pieces that we've started um, when you're talking about, um, you know, engaging the community a whole bit is our social media game has, of course, gone up. Uh, blogging has been something that's newer for us. And uh, so we've been, we've been trying to engage with the community that way and uh, just having fun. You know, some of, our, some of our stuff is very serious, of course, 
but others is, is just kind of, you know, hey, you know, what, what, what helps you get through the day working from home? My Wonder Woman, yes. cup, you know, like something like that, right? Just, just having some fun is, uh, is what we do because yeah, being an entrepreneur is a serious thing. Absolutely. But if you can have fun in a day, you know, it, it's, you're taking yourself way too seriously. Yeah. You gotta have, you gotta lighten up a little bit and have some fun. So that's what I love about Spark. And of course you do have the collaboration now with Enwick. So there's a whole new women entrepreneur course. Like what's going on with that? Yeah, so um, we are very excited to launch this new initiative and help support uh, the female entrepreneurs in the Niagara community. Um, so what we're envisioning for this kind of both the collaboration with Enwick and this initiative in particular is creating this kind of like ecosystem and pipeline to support female entrepreneurs in Niagara at like every single step of their entrepreneurial journey. Whether they're at the stage where they just have an idea and are like, I don't know if this is a viable business and they need to, you know, make those first steps with creating a business plan and that kind of stuff, or they're already doing that and need a bit more skills training, or they're ready to, you know, commercialize and, and incubate their business at Spark, or even if they're ready to accelerate their business through, for example, the NFRH program. So really a cohesive Niagara-based ecosystem uh, with the connections for all the resources and supports for women in their kind of entrepreneurial pursuit, whatever those may be. So in tangible terms, this looks like a few specific things. So one of the things that we're really excited about offering is uh, giving women in Niagara subsidized seats to participate in the side hustle to CEO course. So this is a really cool uh, online training course that's created by two uh, amazing female entrepreneurs. Um, Alyssa uh, from the Zen Strategy and Francesca from Franny and Co. And it's really all about empowering women and, and building their skill sets so that they're able to take their businesses to the next level and really make that side hustle into a, a profitable endeavor. So it has five different modules that women can complete on their own time, really practical, community based. Things like marketing, technology, uh, making a, you know, doing your profit and loss calculations, like all of those tangible business skills, as well as some of those soft skills, like, you know, overcoming your personal barriers and, and getting in that kind of entrepreneurial mindset and all those kinds of things. So we're really, really excited to make it possible for some female entrepreneurs in Niagara to go through that course. And then kind of our, our end goal for this project is to have one large pitch competition at the end um, where local sponsors and partners can help provide funding and kind of in-kind services to accelerate, to help these female business owners accelerate their businesses to the commercialization stage. So to get them started. And then we're also hoping to, you know, build on the business coaching offered at Spark and the mentorship offered at Enwick um, and just create a really comprehensive coaching and mentorship uh, support network that's geared toward female entrepreneurs. So we're really looking forward to that. We were doing our uh, year in review stats at the end of 2020 and we were looking over some of our member data at spark and we were like wow we have 46 percent female entrepreneurs which nice. is yeah which was amazing and way higher than a lot of the other incubators and accelerators so we were really proud of that and then we were like how can we keep doing stuff for female entrepreneurship and build the system and build the, the ecosystem and the, that pipeline to get more and more female entrepreneurship and help overcome some of those specific uh, barriers that female entrepreneurs face that other entrepreneurs might not necessarily face. So. Right, no, that sounds super helpful. And so there's the whole partnership with Enwix. So maybe Andrea, you could probably answer this the best. How does that partnership work exactly? Well, we're figuring that out as we go. Um, I think as women, one of the, the most exciting things that we bring to the table is knowing that listening is probably the most important thing that we do. And um, as a charity who's uh, the only um, women-led and women's only uh, training and social purpose enterprise um, supporting women entrepreneurs in Niagara, say for the last 20 years, we've learned that women want to have a voice in, um, in creating and uh, celebrating uh, their success and the successes of other women. And so it's with that mindset and capacity that we are bringing, um, joining forces with Spark to say, how can we make more strategic investments, share resources, 
and have a, a solid continuum of opportunity from being just a soft place to land for a woman who has um, unrealized potential to, you know, making it to commercialization if that is um, her goal. And the what we found in um, meeting and speaking with Spark was some really shared values around what happens when we invest in women and the collective impact that that can have. And so um, our, those, it's those shared values that are shaping what um, the partnership or collaboration will be. And we're, we're just really excited to be, um, to be having the conversation and to be opening up the opportunities. We um, love the idea of supporting um, the side hustle to CEO startup. Um, you know, essentially they're our client as much as they are our um, going to be, you know, doing this content delivery for us. We, we recognize that by investing together with Spark in this initiative, um, what a great way to create exponential capacity in community um, by supporting so many more women's uh, entrepreneurship journeys. So um, those shared values of knowing women, hearing women, listening and, and actively um, responding by providing supports for what they need um, and now being able to do it collaboratively, I think is, is just something we're also very excited about. And we do that um, through a, a model that we call 4C, and, and that is consists of counseling, coaching, curriculum, of course, and consulting, mm -hmm. which again, align very well with what Spark was already um, doing and, and believing in. So here we are, we offer 360 wraparound supports for women. We see ourselves as being sort of the uh, entry point to the program, um, as well as th the 360 wraparound um, and ensuring that women have the best opportunity to, to reach their fullest potential through, uh, through this collaboration. Awesome. Yeah, I love how far kind of Niagara has come with like its little communities and different businesses that can kind of come together and do partnerships. So I wanted to ask like, if anyone wants to answer, what do you think you see Niagara's business community in maybe like a decade? Sure. Uh, well, I, I want to go off uh, uh, just a little bit, not a tangent, but just uh, kind of uh, expanding sure, yeah. Andrew's point. Uh, and, and what we realize, and again, it may, maybe it took COVID to realize this, but what we see a lot of other incubators and accelerators doing is providing equality. And that means that everybody gets all the services, regardless of their personal situation. And we think that, that that's, that's an old model. It's all Definitely. about equity now, innovation equity is kind of our mantra for 2021 for Spark. And that is, uh, and I don't want to think equity like taking equity in the company. Equity is providing all the tools and resources depending on the individual specific situation, whether that is uh, with women, whether that's gender, whether that's race, whether that's social economic status. It's providing them all the necessary tools so that they have the best potential to grow and commercialize their business. And what I say is that when, when COVID happened, um, everybody got equality. All the support systems were equal, depend, doesn't matter what your business is, doesn't matter on your personal situations, everything was, you know, I mean, uh, equality. We found that, that that's just not good enough. That's not good enough. By giving everybody the same, that's not good enough. So we thought, well, let's take that one step further and let's make sure that we help people individually based on their own specific needs and perhaps providing more tools and more reasons than somebody else that doesn't necessarily need those needs. So that's part of our, our new initiative for 2021 is creating what we like to call innovation equity. Interesting. Yeah, you and I were talking about kind of the podcast and like adding on all these cool things to Sparkle. Like, what do you think are some other services maybe you'll kind of add on in the future? Like you're talking about the 3D printing and, and different things as well. Yeah. So uh, like I said, um, I like to think of Spark as a community center, if you will. So you yeah. know a community center, you got your arena, you got your gym, you got your event spaces, you got uh, your basketball, gym, whatever. I want to take that model, but bring it to the innovation side. So when you come to Spark, you have prototyping lab, right? You have somebody that's going to help you in financial projections, business planning, right? You're going to have events that are going to bring good guest speakers and workshops. So it's just one central hub where regardless of what stage you are in your business, you can always uh, be a part of the services and you can always benefit from the services. So uh, for lack of better words, creating the temple uh, for people to come and businesses to grow. And essentially is, is grabbing a lot of businesses at the young stage uh, and then growing them into big, big businesses where um, hopefully uh, they stay in Niagara. That's our goal is to keep the businesses in Niagara. And then hopefully when they, they reach a certain level that they uh, 
contribute back to the community, whether that's a form of coaching, mentoring, uh, or just providing uh, uh, services to our startups as well. And uh, Kayleen has uh, been working very, very hard on getting a lot of uh, local partners and uh, and businesses that we created our own perks and discount pages for our members as well. All right. So whether whether that's uh, getting local lawyers to help you with incorporating doc or corporation documents, whether it's getting local accounts to help you with your finances. Uh, so uh, we've been working really, really hard on getting the entire community to work together in one common goal, and that's creating innovation and jobs in Niagara. I love it. And is there any kind of final maybe comments or like updates, anything kind of we can look forward to in the very near near future with Spark? I leave uh, that to my communication and uh, Kayleen. <laughs> Nicole and Kayleen, take it away. Go ahead, Nicole. Kayleen. Yeah, I'll you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, well, you were going to say something, Kayleen. So why don't you say what you have to say and then I'll jump off of whatever. Yeah, I was just going to say that uh, very, very, very soon we will be accepting applications uh, through NWIT. We'll be, uh, Andrea here and her colleagues at NWIT will be uh, dealing with the applications to get those funded seats for the side hustle to CEO course, which is kind of the entry point into this uh, female entrepreneurship program. So keep an eye out on all of our social medias and websites and, and all that kind of fun stuff for that application. Um, and we look forward to seeing tons of awesome female entrepreneurs uh, apply. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, for sure. And of course, you know, uh, this week we have a really cool webinar with uh, Main Street, Digital Main Street happening. And we have one coming very soon with a Safe Site Global. And what they're going to do, that's actually going to be more of a um, panel discussion. And what we're going to talk about is um, uh, how to keep and, and um, ensure that your business is COVID safe and COVID ready. But it goes beyond that because let's face it, right? COVID will eventually end. But, you know, this kind of being high alert about safety and making sure that your places are safe will carry on for a long time. And so we want to be able to equip businesses so that they can confidently tell their customers, you can come in, we are always safe. We are you know, part of the safe site global community. And uh, so we're really looking forward to having that broken down and what that, that looks like for sure. Definitely, and if people wanna get in touch with Spark and learn more about how to become a member, what's the best way to do so? I would say, um, well, of course, I would encourage everybody go check out our website because that's where you're going to learn about all the great stuff that is available to you as a member. Um, but uh, then if you really want to, to just have a conversation, you can email us at info at sparkniagara.com. Great. And what about NWIC? Is there a website or anything we can reach out to? Yeah, there is. And, and I just wanted to loop back just for a moment, Carmen, I can't miss okay. the opportunity to talk, to answer your, your uh, question about what do we think um, the world of work and, and commerce say is going to look like in the future and building on Dan's points around innovation, I think it's also going to be about um, collectivism, um, as opposed to um, focusing solely on individual pathways to success. And I think we're seeing a real shift in community away from success on um, individual terms to creating significance, to creating impact. And so part of our focus in the work that we're doing, whether it's in individual conversations or, or mentorship or curriculum, is um, promoting the opportunity of um, what we call that foresee mentality, foreseeing the future. And for us, that's an acronym and it stands for facilitating opportunities for responsible entrepreneurship social and environmental empowerment. And we believe that there is a new way um, that we have a responsibility to help facilitate that new way. And it's and that is how we are going to um, influence economic development uh, now and for years to come. Yeah, it makes so, sense because everyone needs their own kind of solution. That. So it needs yeah. to be tailored to them. Right. And, yeah. and you know, systems don't don't solve problems people do. Exactly. And, you know, it can happen one conversation at a time, and then it can happen more effectively when, when you have like-minded individuals with shared goals and aims coming together and sort of repeating uh, and building on that messaging. Um, as part of the um, program, along with the um, Side Hustle to CEO, we also um, will be offering what we call GLOW sessions, so group learning opportunities for women that are around um, building um, intuition and, and other aspects of what it means to be a woman entrepreneur, as well as a shine speaker series. So that stands for um, 
sharing helpful information and insight to new entrepreneurs. And so we are hoping to connect with female trailblazers who, who have something to say and who share that value of moving from success to significance and creative, creating that um, collective impact and community that we know is, is the way, you know, it's, it's the model, it's the way forward for sure. Definitely. And then the women entrepreneurs can learn from them and all of their kind of successful traits and paths as well. Exactly. Could I just uh, add on to that? Uh, Andrea, you made me realize that I forgot to include something before. Um, in addition to the course and these uh, initiatives that Andrea's been talking about, um, these women will also be getting six months free membership at Spark. I realize now that this was nice. pretty important. <laughs> uh, the Monday brain is getting to me. But yes, yeah, so uh, not only will we be supporting them uh, in the earlier stages of their journey, we'll also give them the co-working space and the Spark expertise to commercialize and, and get their business really up and running and off the ground with a strong start. So we're really looking forward mm -hmm. to seeing that. Kind Absolutely. Of and we've got some great um, opportunities to formalize some um, amazing mentorship opportunities for women, as well as um, a desire to create um, a, a lending carousel, um, whereby um, we can facilitate micro and larger loans. Um, and it's called We Lend, um, Women Entrepreneurs Lending Enterprising <laughs> Women Needed Development Dollars. Uh, Dan and I are on that acronym train together. Yes. And, um, yeah, so we have a vision of b being able to provide m mechanisms, ways for 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 people to give back. And I think that for for many of us, we recognize that that this is this is the future. This is the future of doing business. So um, So excited to uh, be on this journey with everyone. Yeah, and, and Carmine, uh, I. I go back to your original question of what we envision business to be in, uh, in 10 years in Niagara. And, uh, and maybe this is biased, uh, just because I know some of the future plans that are coming, that I can't quite share yet. But uh, I, I, I envision Niagara actually being like a, a tech hub, tap, tech, one of the tech capitals of Ontario. Um, in fact, we're starting to see this. A lot of people are shifting away from the big city mentality, big city culture, because now in the digital age, you can run a successful business from anywhere. Yep. You can run it from your back shed if you wanted to, right? So you don't have to go to the big city no more and go with all the big CEOs and everything, because now most people are working from home. And, <laughs> and the second thing is that you can really grow a business anywhere. And what Niagara offers is, is quite a unique opportunity that you're not going to see uh, many other places. Is first of all, you're, you're on the border with the U.S. And mm -hmm. with our partnerships that Spark has across the U.S., it's so easy for us to introduce companies to the U U.S. market and help them commercialize there. In addition to that, we have the GO train that's coming, and it's only an hour, an hour and a half drive away to Toronto. So you can grow a business in Niagara, have an excellent quality of life, have a house uh, that's affordable have property that you can go if you're in lockdown and go spend some time in your backyard uh, and still grow a very successful business. So we're starting to see this migration uh, or counter migration, if you will, of people coming from Toronto and all the big cities to Niagara to grow their business because nowadays, and, and I guess maybe COVID made us realize this, is that quality of life and work-life balance is so important. Oh, yeah. Staying happy, healthy. And then uh, I know I'm, I'm kind of going on Nicole here because she runs a lot of uh, workshops dealing with uh, mental health and things like that, that it's so important to be happy and enjoy your work lifestyle mm -hmm. balance. Um, so I see Niagara as being one of the leaders in Ontario, if not Canada, in regards to, in regards to tech, innovation, entrepreneurship, and just be the, the place where everybody wants to come to grow their business. Um, so that's where I envision it. Again, that could be biased because I know some of the big projects coming along, but right. uh, yeah, it, it's, it's gaining a lot of momentum. Uh, just to think of, uh, I mean, about two, two years ago, two and a half years ago, we, we weren't supporting any companies. And in, in two short years, we have over 150 companies that we've either helped grow or, or support. And, and uh, I'm very happy to say that of those 150, 95 of them are still in operation today. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, like, thinking about a few years ago, how many more startups are here, tech companies, and just everything in between. So, super nice exactly. to see it coming along. And, but going back to Enwick, is there a good way to contact you? Is there a website, social media? Like, what's the best way? Um, right now, the best way is probably um, you can hop onto our website, which I'll say right up front is going to be under construction, but it is um, nwec.ca. And then my email address is andreawick at nphcr.ca. Awesome. I'll make sure to put that in the show notes. Same with Spark, but that does wrap up today's episode. Very soon, we're also going to have Joyce Morocco on. She's a CEO, former VP of marketing 
and liberal candidate. So we'll learn about her entrepreneurial journey, everything that's led to her success. But I just want to thank everyone once again for coming on. Thank you so much. And we'll talk soon. Thank you, Carmine. No problem. Thank Bye -bye. you.